What are the many sources of information and how should they be managed and mastered? What is the ideal regularity of data flow and how can information be delivered to users independently of changes that may be happening to source systems? In this session, we'll go into the detail of understanding and reconciling data sources. We'll look at data cleansing and at the optimum frequency of data capture. The information sources layer represents all potential sources of raw data which would be required by the business to address the information requirements. In the architecture, we identify four source types, operational, syndicated, unstructured, and commercial off-the-shelf packages. There are special considerations that we need to give to key dimensional data that defines the organization, and specifically that we will want to take action on. This can be data like customer data, product data, and so on. We may be tempted to solve these problems inside the data warehouse as part of our data quality process in ETL. But to only solve the problem in the data warehouse is a mistake. The sole purpose of our whole information provision should be action. The idea that we will do something as a result of the insight learned. Typically, we take this action in an operational system. An example could be that we understand something about a customer and determine the next best activity in an operational campaign engine. But if the only clean record of the customer is in the data warehouse, it may end up being impossible to take this action. So we specifically solve issues around this type of data outside of the data warehouse through some kind of master data management. Although I draw this as a hub here, this is not necessarily how it's implemented. All we need to know is that something is coordinating a single consistent view of customers, products, and so on. All of the systems will interact in some way to provide this master data management. This could be an asynchronous data flow, but it's probably better architected as a simple service call. Data then needs to move from the information sources into the enterprise data warehouse. I'm often asked how this should be done. My belief is that we make two mistakes when we build this information flow. The first mistake is to make all of these data movements overnight batch jobs. I often hear data warehouse application owners saying, our batch window's disappearing. The best solution is, don't have a batch. It's often just as easy to move data during the day in a near real-time manner through queues or mini batches. This allows for more right time reporting to potentially come out of the data warehouse. The second mistake is to only move those information items that information consumers are interested in right now. If we do this, then every time users have a new requirement, we'll need to go back to the source owners and ask for modifications to the extract. This can often be hard to coordinate with competing project priorities. So a recommendation here is to take all of the data you possibly can. It does not necessarily have to be stored in the data warehouse, but implementing this technique will greatly enhance the agility of the data warehouse itself. So the data drips into the enterprise data warehouse via ETL. The first layer that the data hits is the staging layer, where it's loaded into some kind of transitory object. The ETL layer here is doing more than just moving the data. It is doing data quality and constraint checks at the same time. It may be the case that the data cannot be corrected automatically, or that data has arrived out of sequence and may therefore fail some kind of referential integrity check. We may therefore need to hold the data in some kind of space for rejected data, and we may need to automatically replay this data once a separate feed of data has arrived. The inverted L shape of the staging layer implies that the data may be accessible for some information consumers. One of the purposes of this is to expose data quality issues to those who should care most about it, the business. All too often, data quality is seen as just an IT problem, and this is seldom the case. Only by exposing the problem to business users can we hope for some kind of resolution. This technique can be extended. We can start to hold data quality metrics against each measure and dimension and start to derive metrics against data as it moves through the data warehouse. For example, we may classify data as gold standard, some as silver, some as bronze, and some not at all, based on data quality and consistency. As we shall see in a later session, the metadata generated here and these derived data quality measures can be exposed to information consumers as well. So in summary then, we should solve master data problems outside of the data warehouse. 
We should move data in from sources as quickly as possible and take all of the data whenever we can. And finally, the architecture deliberately exposes data quality issues direct to information consumers.